we need to solve 4K using a multi-step method. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to use the FOIL method to get rid of the brackets because remember do the work in the brackets first. So we need to use FOIL to get rid of each of these brackets. So the first thing we do is 2 times K which gives us 2K. 2 times 2 which gives us 4 equals 4 times K gives us 4K and 4 times negative 6 gives us negative 24. And of course you can do those on the calculator if you need to. Now the next step is what we've done before is letters on one side and numbers on the other. It doesn't matter which side you could do it the other way you could say numbers on this side and letters on the other. It makes little difference it's more your preference. In this case I'm going to leave the letters on one side and numbers on the other. Okay so 2K stays because it's on the correct side equals and the negative 24 stays because it is also on the correct side. So I've taken care of this and I've taken care of this. Now I have to deal with this here. The 4 is on the wrong side because it should be on the number side so I need to move the 4 to the other side of the equal sign and when you move the 4 which is a positive to the other side of the equal sign it becomes a negative 4. That's taken care of. Now we have the 4K which is also on the wrong side it needs to be moved to this side. So it is a positive 4K, we move it to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes a negative 4K. Now all we do is group. These two are the same, these two are the same. So we can add these. So 2K subtract 4K gives us negative 2K and negative 24 subtract 4 gives us negative 28. Now back to the usual way of doing things, we need to get this variable which is K all by itself and the only way to do that is to divide both sides by negative 2. The twos cancel each other out. K equals negative 28 over negative 2. Now, we've got two negatives. When you have two negatives, they become a positive. So, two, 20, 28 divided by 2 gives us 14. And since those are two negatives, it ends up being a positive. So, that is the way that you do a multi-step to solve for a variable. We are going to solve for the variable on this side. And to solve for the variable on this side, what we need to do is group like terms. So the b's are like terms and the integers are like terms. So what we're going to have to do is, again, put letters on one side and numbers on the other. In this case, 8b stays on this side because it's on the correct side and 9 stays on the side because it's also on the correct side. So what I really need to do is move this 3b over here and when I move the 3b because it's a positive it turns out to be a negative 3b. And over here I've got a positive 5 I need to move that to the other side of the equal sign and a positive 5 becomes a negative 5. So now it's just a matter of adding together our like variables. 8b subtract 3b gives us 5b and 9 subtract 5 gives us 4. Now all we have to do is solve for b. Here's the second step. So divide both sides by 5, cross those out, b equals 4 over 5. And again, don't be thrown off and say, well, it's a, it's a fraction, it can't be right. That's not necessarily true. It can be correct with a fraction.